All right, everyone, this is my MacBook Pro M1, and this one got 16 gigs of memory. And if I show you the system preferences, not here. So let's just go back one more time uh, about this Mac. And you see it's a 16 gigs memory uh, MacBook with Apple M1 chip, and I'm using 11.2 uh, Mac OS Big Sur. Uh, what I wanted to do in this Mac, I just got it yesterday, just wanted to install the Git and what I just have, I have just opened up my terminal window and I'm just going to type Git in here and you see that it's immediately telling you that Git command requires the command line developer tools, would you like to install the tool now? So let me see if I install it, what happens, it's just going through a license agreement, just to agree continue on battery power that is fine and uh, it's now uh, trying to find the software and interestingly it's telling me that it's gonna take about two hours and 22 minutes remaining I hope that's not not true now this is about four minutes and 14 seconds I hope even that is not true okay while this is going on uh, let's just go over here and uh, let's look at our git official website and what are they recommending how to use the git okay so if you really look at it uh can i move this window let me see seems like i can't uh, but what it is they will tell you to install the brew and once you have the brew then uh, you can install the git and uh, to install the git gui you would be running the command uh, brew install git gui so that's from uh, the official git website now over here if you see that uh, the developer tool that mac mentioned it's just got installed and uh, now it's installing the software so tool was downloaded now it's installing software it's it's telling me that it's going to take about uh, a minute or so uh, to get the software installation completed let me see what is going on with the command line uh, it's not doing anything it's still doing this uh, software installation so let's go back to git and see if we have anything so again downloading download for mac os uh, this is the git primary website uh, install homebrew if you want you can uh, go over here okay this is the home view and uh, you need to install the homebrew and you wanna, if you want to know a little bit of what it does uh, uh, for you you can read through this documentation over here uh, they have enough information and if you want to donate if you like this you can do that come to discuss and come a homebrew blog you can read some more stuff i'm not interested let me go back and let's see what it is it's still saying two minutes okay so while that is going on uh, let's see uh, get again so this is already doing this so um, no developer tool, tools were found so this is still going on so I need to figure out how to pause the video this is what I'm not sure about in my new Mac how do you pause the video uh, let's see I'm just maybe going to no it's only one minute and 14 uh, 13 seconds i'm just gonna stick <laughs> and maybe show you the new mac just a little bit it's a new uh, mac as i said it's a 16 gigs mac that i got just uh, a couple days back it was released uh, end of 2020 and uh, is display it's built-in retina display 13.3 inch it's a pro version 25 60 1600 uh, we I got one terabyte of storage because I'm interested in music production So that's the reason I got a little bit more storage than uh, What you get normally if you get uh, a default Mac configuration probably 256 MB uh, You have all the support that you can go to and for services uh, You can use the Apple care uh, for your services if you need any if you have any questions uh, or anything like that uh, uh, with the limited warranty if you you know uh, complimentary telephone technical support you will also get uh, when you when you get the Mac that's a pretty pretty good pretty sweet right
so let's see over here you see there's only two more minutes left so uh, come on my friend it's more than two seconds okay, so let's see what else okay so I have a few directories in here as I said it's a brand new Mac so I don't really have much going on in here uh, while this is going on we can quickly do another thing I really don't like this big name so what I can do I can I, I want to reduce this name Ancon's MacBook Pro I just want to say Mac or something so let's just go here and do that as well system preferences and let's look at computer name okay and then here's the MacBook Pro I'll just say Mac okay and let's see okay I probably have to do edit use this name to reach the computer formation on your local subnet so I'm just gonna say Mac and use dynamic I just not gonna do anything say okay and it's now changed to Mac close out now the software was installed I'm just gonna say done okay now let's see if I click get now there we go I have all the gate available to to me so I really didn't have to go through any of this uh, commands that uh, the gate is has been is suggested in this particular page okay so all I need to do is follow the instructions and download the developer tools that is uh, for Mac and that's all that you got it now you can play with Git, have fun developing whatever you're developing thank you for watching the video